What's going on everybody? Brendan here, Dad Planet. Welcome back to the One Man Show. This is the Bad Back Edition or the You're Feeling Sorry for Yourself Brendan Edition because I'm on day four of my injury. We're getting better. I've got the heat pad rocking right now in uh, one of the most comfortable chairs that I think I've ever sat in. So that's a plus, but I went to the bins last week. I'm going to take you with me along for the ride. I found a ton of stuff. So I'm hopeful that you can also find these things if you head to the bins or wherever it is you do your sourcing, thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. These items are fantastic. One really unique item that it's like just amazing what you find sometimes when you go to the bin. So can't wait to show it to you. Let's get moving. First one in the door, place is empty. I always go to the shoes, or at least I always had that direction and I forget to film. So I'll throw, and you'll see this, I'll put a bunch of shoes in my car. We'll talk about them here in just a second. So I'm headed over to the shoes. We're gonna move over to the clothing area here and we're gonna start the footage there just to see what I sourced uh, for clothing because it was an unbelievable trip this day. So first thing I'm gonna grab is this Salty Dog Cafe. This is super bread and butter. You know, Hilton Head Island, it's a vacation resort. People, especially from the Midwest, like to vacation there. That's an easy 15 to $20. I sell so many of those shirts. It was a cool like green apple kind of color. So I'm going to pick that up. I do very, very well with Salty Dog apparel. I pick it up at garage sales. I find it in thrift stores. Even at a couple bucks, it's probably still worth it because I know that I can get at least $15 for that especially with the color that it was, which is kind of bright and pastel -y and and, uh, and fun. So good pick up there to start off the trip and you'll find a lot of bread and butter when you go to the Goodwill bins. So keep that in mind. This right here, this is a polo, it's a four t-shirt. So it's youth, it's got the Beekman crest on the left chest there and the number three on the side. If you find this in adult sizes, you're gonna get 30, 40, $50 for that all day long. Um, but you do have to start thinking about back to school coming up here in, the, in a couple of months. I know we just got out of school, but that will sell for $15 to $20. Found a random pair of no bulls here. I like the diamond plaid style of this shoe. They're not in the greatest condition. So I'm going to be aggressive when I price these and I'm going to price them at $20. Those trainers, if you were not aware of it, are a bolo for sure. This is a pair of Jordan Evolution 85s. They look really dirty and the condition is okay. They're not in terrible condition, but I'm going to mark those for 25 bucks. That pair of Converse, we're gonna put those at 30. And then I've been picking up a small amount of spikes recently. I'm pretty sure that I can get $20 for those. Those were Nike Zoom Rivals. And then this is On Cloud. They have a little bit of damage, a little bit of rub mark there, but the soles are in great condition. This is a Bolo brand for sure on running On Cloud. I'm gonna list those for 25 because of the damage and hopefully they will sell faster than they otherwise would because that's really the only damage on that shoe. The insoles were clean but a black pair, a men's size, and an emerging Bolo brand that is you know, expensive at brand new retail price, I'm gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna head back in to these bins and look for something interesting here. Now, Am Femme, that's man, woman in, Fr in French. This is a very unique shirt in that it was a shirt that was given out to attendees of the Western Kentucky Hurricane Relief Fund with which Jack Harlow was one of the special guests. So this is a shirt that this company didn't sell at retail. It was just given to attendees. And it says right there, honored guest Jack Harlow. It was just a couple of weeks ago, in fact. So I don't even know how that ended up in the bins, but because of the exclusivity of a shirt like that, I'm gonna price that at $200. I honestly cannot believe some of the things that turn up at the Goodwill bins. That's why I always tell you, even if you're apprehensive and you haven't done it for the first time, please make your way in there. You really never know just what you're going to find and that shirt was mint condition for a white shirt and yes you find lots of damaged and destroyed items that one was not one of them so moving on to this shirt you guys saw me sell a tie-dye vans shirt and i used the term severed hand in my listing to get additional views i'm going to do the same thing with this crop it's a female crop size small vans santa cruz but it's got the severed hand on it so i'm going to try and test that out again. This is probably like a 15 to $20 hit right there. So we're gonna test it and see if that keyword works again for that item here. My daughter loves those big fuzzy jackets, that thing I just had in my hand. I don't know if there's any value uh, with that, but she like seems to love that. I don't know if that's a trend with the, with the young kids, but um, I passed on it because I didn't think I could make any money on it. So we're gonna leave that one behind and it fills up pretty quick at this location. 
know, you just saw me walk in and there were no people. And uh, yeah, there's like a hundred uh, before you uh, blink. So I'm gonna move on to the next thing here. This is a major bread and butter bolo, BK, E, Seth, pair of pants, size was four, excuse me, 34 long. And this is an easy $40, the condition is fair. And you know, this would cost me $7 in store, but it's only gonna be a couple bucks at the bin. So $2 into 40, 250 into 40, I will take that all day long. Just checking to see if there's any um, obvious damage. It did not look like there was. So that was pretty awesome. And I think coming up here, I don't remember exactly, but it's a pair of shorts that I grabbed that I put back that I really should not have. Here it is right here. So Chaps Ralph Lauren. These are swim trunks. These are amazing. I don't know what possessed me to put those back, but these would have sold all day long for probably 20 to $25, but I put them back. I don't know what I was thinking because I was really on a roll this trip. But um, if you see them, grab them. Maybe uh, one of you will get lucky and find something similar. Rewash, re I don't think that's a Bolo brand. I didn't see any comps that were like good enough to uh, make me take a stab at those. So I left those behind, even though they looked like they were pretty high quality. This also looked like it was high quality too, but it's American Eagle and it's the wrong season for something so bread and butter and I think low value. So we're just gonna pass on that one. But I do have a bolo here that I, I'm interested to feature for you here. So this brand is MNML. Now it's a California brand. You can't, they don't have any retail shops. You can only buy their stuff online. But this is a pair of um, like camo joggers, obviously. I thought these stains were like after the fact stains, but I went to their website and it looks like that's the style of some of their joggers. Like they have like paint splotches on them or marks like, like that. So you can see they zip at the bottom. So they're like a little bit tapered, a pretty cool look. And it's a new to me brand. So here's a pair of orange ones as well. Those other ones were obviously army green. They are a size medium according to the tag, but I'm gonna try both of these at 40 bucks because the listings to sold ratio for the last 90 days looks pretty good for this brand. So if you ever find that MNML tag, keep an eye on it. But I like both of those and was, you know, obviously pleasantly surprised. I've never heard of that brand before. So as it stands right now, you guys haven't seen it because I'm speeding through everything, but I've only been in this location now for, I'm gonna say about an hour at this point. And I'm already looking at, I think, just under $500 in listed value items that I've just shown you. It's 485, if we're being conservative, it's 485. So right away, I mean, we're doing really, really well. And I only like to spend two hours each bins trip. So I spent two and a half hours this time because I just kept coming into amazing things. Here's another one. This is a bread and butter item. It's a, obviously a Budweiser hat, but June is gonna be the month to sell all of your patriotic gear. So we're gonna put $20 on that one. It's a Lilo and Stitch hat. Again, licking a ice cream cone, you know, it's it's a $10 hat. It's not gonna make you millions of dollars, but it's uh, the timing is right. So it's a Blue Jackets hat, Sergei Fedorov. I think he played for the Blue Jackets between 2005 and 2008 and then retired in 2009. He was with the Detroit Red Wings. Very, you know, very good career. That hat was signed. I really don't know how to price it. So I think I'm just gonna put $20 on it, maybe sell it locally. Another um, bread and butter item, Nike One VR hat. Uh, I cleaned it up and I've already got it listed. It's perforated, you know, it's golf season. We'll put $20 on that. More Chiba, they're like a, a trip hop band. Um, I, Trigger Happy was one of the songs I used to listen to of theirs uh, in college. So one of these is sold recently for 15 and I think there's a brand new one listed for 70. So I'm gonna put mine at $40 and be really aggressive with that and we'll see what happens there. So. I'm going to walk over to like the, where the hats and the bags are just to see if there's anything else that I may have missed over here. But I'm trying to grow my hat inventory because, again, they're so cheap. It's a nice USA, not USA, Olympic Canadian hat. It had tags on it, but you can't really see it. It was stained, and it's hard to like photograph the white. So where the um, Kentucky Relief Fund um, Femme shirt was, was in mint condition, that hat had issues and the lighting in this place is terrible, so couldn't really tell. We're gonna head back over to the shoe area. I wish I could have found that second New Balance high top, but couldn't find those, so um, I'm just filming kind of the aftermath of a rotation, but I'll show you what's in my cart here in uh, just a second. So this is an interesting pair of shoes, a new to me brand, 
Tesla. These are Bear, tre bear Trek shoes. They're not going to make you a ton of money. They're a men's size 10 and a half. I'll list those at $22, which I think is fair. And then I like these Jack Purcell black uh, leather canvas shoes right here. I'm going to price these at $30. I think they come that way with the eyelets with no laces. So keep that in mind. They're not missing laces. It's just that's the style of that shoe. But I think 30 bucks is good for that. Please keep your eye out, though, for Kissick. This brand is a Bolo brand. This pair of shoes I've already cleaned up and already sold. I listed them for $50. The style is the Madrid, and the the buyer uh, paid $16 to have it shipped from Ohio to California. Keep your eye out for that brand right there, Kizik. That is definitely a Bolo, as is this pair of Keens. So this is a pair of Keen Pyrenees hiking shoes. They are a women's size nine. Very good sell-through rate for this pair of Keens. Not every Keen is created equal, but I'm going to list these at $40 because they're in fantastic condition, including those soles. So, you know, we're we're like moving quickly here, but man, it was just loaded this trip with amazing things. A lot, a good mix of things I've heard, I've sold in the past, and a lot of items that were new to me, including that Kizik brand. But the sell-through rate was amazing. We're going to close out with. An amazing band tee right here. So most of you know who Poison is. It's from 1989. It's every rose has its thorn. That is a baseball ragland style tee, if those are keywords that you feel like using. And then I'll show you the tag here. Hand text. It's a size large, but this is a vintage size large. So it's more like a medium. Definitely single stitch. And then it has the hot billboard chart of the album on the back that you can see right there. Recent comp of these, and you saw this in the thumbnail, even though I had it covered up, sold for uh, $150. That's where I'm going to list that at. $150, and that shirt was just sitting right there after all of those bins had been picked over. Uh, just an uh, insane find. I'm really pleased with that. So hopefully you guys can find something similar. As it stands, this is just under $900 in total listed value. $887 if you total everything up. A fantastic haul, and get, please make it make an attempt to get to the bins. You never know what you're going to find, uh, and in this case, I uh, I did really really well. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much for those of you that have reached out and sent me condolences, if you will, regarding my back. This is not an injury that is new to me, so I'm familiar with it. It's sort of a recurring thing, but it is extremely painful, so I'm having trouble moving. So. I might not get to do as much thrifting as I would like to this week, but it's like incrementally very slowly getting better. So thank you for those of you that have uh, mentioned that in the comments and thanks for watching in general. I really appreciate it. So hit the like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube and hopefully I will continue to crank more of these out for you. So thanks so much for tuning in. Brennan here, Dad Planet, the one man show. I'll see you in the next video.